What's up, everybody? It is Daydream. Thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, hope you're smashing these spooky pumpkins. Hope you're getting ready for Halloween, and I hope you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you tell your clan about the channel, guys. You're going to get better from this game. I don't care if you're an expert or a beginner that has never even played the game. You will learn something from this game, even if it's a sneak peek or something. So, guys, I've actually got something that I'm going to be breaking today here on the channel, and one of you sent me... A screenshot I'll leave his name in the description he sent me a screenshot and said hey daydreams I seen this on the app store can you tell me what this is all about so you know me this I'll go ahead and show you the picture we'll go to photos I gotta pull it over a little bit so you can see it on the screen because it's in portrait mode for some reason but Clash of Kings 2 unreleased um, and it says that it hasn't been released yet um, it doesn't show much. The, the screenshots of it are basically pretty much, you know, it looks kind of Clash of Kings-y. But on the right, bottom right, you can see a little bit of the, like, troops and background. Well, your boy did a little bit of digging. And I have came to discover that there's a new Clash of Kings they've been working on. And it's apparently, I wasn't able to get too many details on it. But apparently it's like a more 3D rendition of the game. Now, I don't know how far, how much more 3D it is. Like, I don't know if like you can like rotate the screen and it's like a real like 3D world with like Clash of Kings types troops and everything. But I'm pretty curious about, you know, what it's going to be like. Um, now, I'm digging to try to get some type, some more information, some screenshots. Um... Maybe like a trailer. Anything I can get you guys. Anything I can get you about this game. But it's called Clash of Kings 2. And all I've been told is that it's focused more on like a 3D. Um, you know 3D. And I have heard also that they are working on having more like 3D battles. Like where you can actually live battle. Like you know if you send your cavalry I can send my art. You know if you send cavalry I can send my um spearmen my um halberdier like basically like where you can counter people and that would be good because it would actually take skill so even if you have better troops and your troops kill my troops easier i can like outmaneuver you with my troops i can counter your cavalry with my spearmen i can counter your swordsmen with my you know um crossbowmen um i can protect my trebuchet with cavalry and infantry and shoot you from over the top stuff like that and that would be very cool because like in Clash Royale they have siege troops like the Mortar. And that could be like the Trebuchet where you could be hitting an enemy's castle from like a range. Like see where that wild thing is? That could be like a Trebuchet. That could be my castle and I could be fighting you sending troops out. Like um, I could send my cavalry to attack your Trebuchet. And then you could put Halberdier there to counter my counter my um cavalry. And then I could send out maybe like a little flank move some strike archer and then you could basically counter me with some um you know either some well halberdier with some um you know crossbowmen whatever whatever the counter may be you could do that so that was pretty interesting to hear that let me know what you guys think about a second clash of kings now i know a lot of you are going to be pretty heated like whoa 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 why didn't they tell us about this i've been spending so much damn money on this game and now there's another game coming out now i don't know Personally, if you want my personal opinions on it, if the next game is better than this game, I think they should transfer the kingdoms from this game and give you the option to transfer over to that game. Like, uh, maybe, like, combine every ten kingdoms together and everyone can transfer all their stuff over to that. But it might be completely different castles, might be completely different science, might be completely different, but it could be the same game with just different graphical features and some tweaks and changes, kind of like they did with the West or Clash of Queens, so... I thought it was pretty interesting news. I'm sure a lot of you will, um, you know, find it to be as interesting as I did. When I saw it at first, I was like, okay, they made a mistake in the App Store. No possible way that they're coming out with a Clash of Kings 2. I would have heard about it by now, but apparently they've been working on it for a long time. It's been hush-hush, and somehow there was a mistake in the um, App Store where it showed that the game was... Pr it's probably, like, already, like... They probably already put it on Google Play to, like, test it, like kind of like beta. And it wasn't even supposed to show up as like being released soon. So I'm thinking it's going to be released soon. I think November maybe. This game will be out. Um, don't quote me on it. Literally this has been like the hardest thing for me to find out information wise. 
it seems like no one knows really the actual details because there's a completely different development team from Clash of Kings working on it. So, yeah, that's um that's where all of our uh, Prestige 5 and uh, SVIP $10 and Research $10 have been going is into developing a new game. How wonderful. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments section what you think about that. Sounds pretty interesting to me. Hopefully, it doesn't totally screw us here in Clash of Kings because if it, like, um, you know, if it just takes over Clash of Kings, then, uh, we're all screwed. All of us that got our Prestige 5s and that are, you know, a lot of you newer players, you probably won't care. You'll be like, okay, I'll just go over that game. But for us, old school guys, we've got way, 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 I've got a year and a half invested in this kingdom. I can't just up and leave it. So, okay guys, so, mid-render, I had to stop the rendering of this video to actually add this in almost, I'm just gonna add it in here about three quarters of the way, actually towards the end of the video, and... I just got some new information and it's pretty big information so now this isn't 100 percent it's like 95 percent because um i've never had any wrong information but okay so it's gonna be similar to clash of kings but i'm hearing that you're gonna be able to build on the world map so like kind of like clash of clans so um in a 3d effect imagine your castle like this but you're going to be able to build your base like outward like onto the map so um i'm not exactly sure how this is going to work i don't know if there's even going to be, be teleporting or if it's going to be more like base built like where you can create put set up your defense i think it's going to be kind of clash of clans like where like you're going to be able to like place your troops wherever you're going to be able to place your turrets wherever you're going to be able to place your cannons trebuchets all of your stuff around your base and it's gonna be kind of base attacks like clash of clans and that is huge because the base attacks clash of clans and all that are what makes it a better game uh, and why more people liked it clash of kings is a better game because it's more realistic and we love war games but the actual real-time strategy of clash of clans and of clash royale are what makes those you know more popular games than clash of kings and you know what if they have it to where you can actually have some strategy so in clash of clans i don't know much about it but i know that like a town hall 10 can lose to a town hall 9 so that'd be like a prestige 5 losing to a prestige 3 but that's because the town hall 9 outplayed the town hall 10. a town hall 9 can beat a town hall 10 uh 11 as well you can even be a level 13 as well and if they have tournaments and stuff like dragon campaign and if they start taking the same route as supercell they're going to start tournament capping cards uh, tournament capping troops to where like you can only have so much stats so much of this in tournaments and stuff and in battles like uh, cross kingdom but in your own kingdom in your own area you're gonna be able to do whatever you want so it's massive news basically um, you know this has been translated from Chinese these are all leaks but it does sound like that's what's gonna be that's gonna be 3d so I think like you know you'll be able to like you know take your fingers and like twist the screen around and look on all directions and uh you know if you can build your base out and then you get attacked and if you can actually make real-time decisions with your troops it'll be better than clash of kings clash of kings 2 will be better than clash of kings so it's big information guys um you know i had the video i you know spent time rendering and everything and i just canceled it so i could add this information in because it's such vital information you know go watch a clash of clans video watch any attack just put in like clash of clans attack and you can see how the attacks happen in that game. You have a base, like a big square, like this. And you basically, um, you basically put stuff where you want it. And there's strategy, there's layering, there's, um, you know, you want to have a tank up front. And then you want to send your, like, supporting troops behind it. You want to send your ranged, like, trebuchet type troops in the back. You maybe want to put some rams in the front to break down some walls and some buildings. So big news guys um i'm just trying to envision it hopefully i can get some sneak peeks i'm gonna beg and plead to see if there's a way i can get some like sneak peeks of the game and some information i want some screenshots some visuals of the actual gameplay because uh that's gonna be the most important part how does it feel is it still feel like clash of kings or is it a completely different game i think it's gonna look and feel similar and then it's gonna have like actual building in it like where you can like okay I have to build my turret. I'm going to put my turret on the edge of my base. Okay, I have to put my... I have to place my trebuchets. I'm going to place them, like, in the middle of my base. So that way they shoot over my walls. I'm going to put my archers in front. 
and you can layer stuff out and some people are going to have waves where they do things differently they might i'll tell you one thing those all siege players that just love trebuchet so much they're going to get smashed and they're going to eat the bbc all day long um, that's a news organization from england if you didn't know um anyway i'm excited guys i'm excited they are making something new and um yeah i'm not exactly excited if i got to spend a bunch more money to get into it um you know i think i've done enough to promote this game they need to like they should just help me get a big castle because uh yeah i've uh i, I think i've paid my dues by now but uh yeah i think everyone's castle should be able to you should be able to like translate them over but they didn't let you do that from clash royale to, or clash of clans to clash royale but they're completely different games i think these two games are going to be similar but where yeah you're, they're not going to be able to transfer castles it's going to be different so sounds pretty interesting guys let me know if you've been getting any rewards from these spooky pumpkins i haven't even opened them yet oh you got to synthesize it oh great so i've got i got tons of candy from wishes but now i gotta hit all these spooky pumpkins just for these uh uh, pumpkins and I gotta synthesize with the candy that's why it's not good to be in the hive there's too many people in the hive eating all the pumpkins guys I'm gonna be thinking about this uh, game until it comes out I'm gonna be wondering like what's it gonna look like what's it gonna feel like is it gonna feel like clash of uh, kings or is it gonna feel more like clash of clans but if it has real troops as long as they don't get into all these dragons and lava giants and all this goofy shit it's gonna be great once they get into all that cartoon stuff it's gonna be awful well not really because clash clash royale's got cartoony stuff and it's an amazing game let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below um anytime i can get you guys any information you know i try to share it with you thank you guys for watching so much remember that two more rings dreamer smash thumbs up and i'll be coming off another clash of kings video here in a little bit i just wanted to get this out to you guys so you could tell me your thoughts on this new game thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace